Hello. It is actually motherfucking Sunday. Fuck off, asshole. Leave me alone. Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? going to do today kids uh, is we're going to stay within the reactor blocks uh territory and build something that's inspired by a couple of things by the monarch which we've been going over the past few episodes as well as a song i've been listening to uh for a little bit that um is in- inspiring right now and um yeah that's it that may reveal itself over time. It may not. We'll see. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to start out with the essentials. We know we're going to um, use an amp to connect the output. Um, we know we're going to... That's probably just about it. We may... Oh, no. We're also going to use a crossfader. Um, to crossfade between the two oscillators. And we're going to keep everything within uh, Monarch as much as humanly possible. So we're going to use a couple of oscillators from Monarch. And let's go ahead and get, a, get them all labeled up right now and explain the intent of the crossfade. So that is going to be... A crossfade between oscillator one and oscillator two. So, um, you know, it looks a little weird. Let's just add some. Now, this is just getting nitpicky, but give the fuck, it's my synth. <laughs> so, uh, we know we're going to crossfade these two signals, so we'll send that into the inputs. And then we have audio uh, crossfading coming out of the fader here. And then we're going to go straight into a filter. So we're going to use the Monarch filter. And that is going to then go into the BCA. Uh, Or is it? Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Because um, we're going to go out of the VCA and actually go into an effect. So I'm actually going to open up rounds, and I know I'm going to use a delay up in this. So let's get this connected here and connect the... Make sure we're connected correctly. Yep. And there we have it. So uh, that looks pretty straightforward there. And then we're going to use um, our friend, the shift sequencer. So um, this guy I love because we're going to use the uh, clock, essentially. I don't think we're going to need the note in, but we'll keep it just in case. Um, but we're going to use the clock to control the uh, gate and reset and play. And then this is going to control the pitch of the oscillators as well as um, the gate of the VCA. So we'll go ahead and set that now. Um, Or no, that's not right. No, this, sorry, this is going to control. So one thing, one last thing that I forgot crucial piece is the envelope and that's what's going to control the vca um modulation for the amplitude but 
the shift sequencer is going to control the gate of the envelope. That's what's going to happen here. So we have that happening. And then we uh, will hook up FM if we need it. So um, right now, this is a pretty solid system. Let's do some panel arrangement and see what we got. So let's get the oscillators down below and start getting everything lined out. And then, uh, no, we don't want to do that. We want to, there we go. And then we want to put a filter right there. And then we'll go ahead and situate the delay down here. Too. There we go. Now I know for a fact uh, the delay is not going to be, um, yeah, it's going to be set to a sync external. So that's actually what I need to connect as well, is the gate of the delay. So I'm going to go ahead and set that to the clock. Or the, you know, the same thing that's running out of the shift sequencer. Well, actually, I could set this by the clock, too. That's probably the smartest thing to do. So let's just set that by the clock. And then if we need to, we can set it by this, if, it's, uh, if it needs to be set by that. But I think either way might actually do it because the shift sequencer clock is controlled by this clock anyway, and that should be fine. Um, but what I am going to do is kind of let's just do a little bit of rearrangement. Let's make things a little more logical. There we go. Again, I don't need that note in. <clears throat> it's just kind of taking up space. But I know I'm going to need a 90 BPM, so let's hook that up. And then let's start playing and see if we got some sound. No, not yet. What do we got going on? Something's going on. Or nothing's going on. So we probably just need some... Yeah, just need some sounds. So I know I'm going to set it down to like F1, I think is where I'm working. set this guy which is the sine sine wave let's go ahead and yeah just do a little bit of frequency on that all right and we actually want And so this is where we need to we need to fuck with the range because we actually are going to be working in a waltz time or a three four time signature. So I and to play by the rules, we're going to set everything to a uh, twelve, and that's going to <clears throat> that's going to allow us to essentially stay within, um, you know a 12 time signature or a 3-4 time signature for everything. So it's going to be awesome. And um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and well this is a cool this is a really cool sequencer so I may just save this I know for a fact I may want to use this later, and this is pretty sweet. So let me save this guy as clean. <clears throat> um, or how about just mono? Um. Yeah, there we go. Clean mono step. Because it's a step sequencer. It's got a mostly monarch architecture at the moment. And um, 
it's fairly clean. Maybe. We'll see. But that's what I'm going to save it as. <clears throat> and that way, um, if I make changes to it, I can go ahead and kind of save those changes as I go. Um, so I don't know if I need anything else from the browser, but I can always open the browser as needed. But what I'm going to do right now is start just focusing in on what I want this to sound like. So I know I want two gate triggers. Maybe because of the clock. So let's maybe use the gate of the shift sequencer. See if this helps with our delay. It's a delay sounding a little weird. I mean, it sounds fairly cool. It's just not what I'm going for timing-wise, so I'm trying to figure out what I got to do to fix the timing.
I think that's closer to it. I think I was thinking the wrong thing on the delay the entire time. But since I have it set up... Yeah. Works either way. Since I have it set up on the 3-4 already with a number of steps, I really don't need to set it up with that sort of delay. So I was really uh, messing with my... That was messing with my brain in terms of figuring out the delay timing on that to make that sound right. But to give it more of a waltz delay... This is essentially what I was going for. So,
so overall a badass uh synth structure and sequence it's pretty straightforward but just trying to do uh you know a simple delayed pattern over like a three four time signature so pretty awesome shift sequencer monarch mono step Until next time. Thank you.